Russian forces in Ukraine appear to be receiving regular deliveries of Iranian-made combat drones. According to Britain's defense ministry, in the month of March alone, Russia carried out at least 71 Iranian-designed drone barrages targeting a variety of areas across Ukraine. The Kremlin's reliance on lethal drones stems from its quickly dwindling stockpile of other munitions and military equipment. Short on raw materials and cash due to sweeping international economic sanctions and nearly 13 months of war, Moscow has turned to its rogue ally to supply it with its deadliest unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs. Is Iran replenishing Russia's low stock of killer drones? At the beginning of the year, Ukrainian officials and Western analysts predicted that Moscow was running low on shot drones. The United Kingdom's Ministry of Defense revealed that a sharp cessation in Russia's use of these combat drones indicated a dwindling stockpile. Perhaps Tehran timed out Moscow's needs perfectly since the regime has had its eyes set on acquiring the Sukhoi Su-35 for years. Moscow's need for additional drones coincided quite nicely with this airframe desire for Iran. Earlier this month, an Iranian-Russian deal was reportedly made surrounding the eventual delivery of Su-35 fighters to Tehran. A subsequent deal involving the shipment of more shot UAVs is likely to follow. When did Iran begin supplying Russia with drones? Since the onset of Russia's invasion, Ukrainian forces have effectively used a range of surveillance, combat, and reconnaissance UAVs to aid its defensive efforts. The significant role that drone warfare has played from the beginning of the conflict has shaped the Kremlin's desire to procure Iran's UAV variants. Over the summer, the White House first indicated that an approaching deal between Tehran and Moscow was surely on the table. Aerial footage depicting a Russian delegation visiting Iran's Karshan airfield surfaced and notably the Shad family of drones. While the Iranian regime relentlessly denied a potential shipment of lethal drones to the Kremlin for months, it ultimately came clean in the late fall. However, the regime's admission came with a caveat, Iranian officials refused to concede that its UAVs were being used in Ukraine. Iran is irrefutably providing Russia with the drones it uses to carry out attacks targeting a range of residential buildings, critical infrastructure, and Ukrainian personnel. Just last week, video footage shared by Radio Liberty depicts a Ukrainian border guard displaying a downed shot drone to journalists. One month prior, U.S. analysts compared photos depicting the aftermath of a 2022 Iranian-launched drone attack in Iraq to the debris of a recent barrage in Kiev. An Iranian-made Shad-131 lethal drone was used in both instances. The Shad-131 killer UAV is the predecessor to the more widely recognized Shad-136 variant. While the minus 131 is smaller in size, the drone shares similar capabilities and components as its successor. The minus 131 has a range of around 500 miles while the minus 136 can travel up to 1200 miles. Both UAVs are known for the low buzzing sound they make when they approach a target. As killer drones, the Shad family variants carry a warhead that explodes once the vehicle reaches its intended target. Meanwhile, 
As Iran sends drones to Russia, the Russians pay them back by sending advanced digital surveillance software. Americans see the military alliance between Iran and Russia as a threat, and deepening Russian-Iranian cooperation in the field of military cyber will only increase their suspicion. Russian company Proti Ltd has begun supplying internet censorship software to Iranian telecom operator Ariantel, Citizen Lab, a University of Toronto think tank, announced. Proti usually works for the Russian military. The Wall Street Journal reports that there is evidence that the Proti tools are part of a mobile phone system that would allow authorities to directly monitor, intercept, redirect, block or eavesdrop on all mobile communications of Iranians. Moscow has long resisted sharing technology with Iran in the past, fearing Iran would later resell it. Since the start of the war in Ukraine, Russia has sent communications surveillance equipment, eavesdropping equipment and lie detectors to Iran, the WSJ finds. Iran has now received new software that allows it to hack the phones and networks of political dissidents, according to sources in the US newspaper. We also remember that a few months ago the United States of America announced that the relationship between Russia and Iran has reached a full defense partnership. Iran is providing Russia with an unprecedented level of military support, according to the U.S. National Security Council. The U.S. has seen reports that the two countries are considering joint production of deadly drones.